Is the Schwab US Dividend Equity TF SCHD still a buying opportunity in 2024? And what am I exactly planning to do with all my shares of SCHD I've been accumulating so far? I just finished my brand new dividend investing ebook where I share exactly how I went from zero to now over seven figures invested and also on how I earn more than $6,000 per month in dividends. I also finished my custom dividend tracker that you can use to track your dividend income progress on an ongoing basis. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today. It's the first link in my description. Now SEHD or the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF is one of my favorite long-term buy and hold ETFs that I've been accumulating like crazy over the last few years. So much to the point to where I've made it a goal for 2024 for my personal portfolio to buy a minimum of two shares per day of SHD in order to hopefully reach 1,000 shares of it by the end of this year. Now in this portfolio alone, I currently have 220 shares of SHD and throughout all my portfolios as of my most recent tally, I think I have around 515 shares. Now looking a little bit deeper into SHD's most recent performance, it's pretty crazy that now on the year time frame. SCHD ETF is finally in the green, up just one half of a percent as of filming this video. And this is of course after a rough 2023 where SCHD hit a low in the mid 60s, but now trading above $76 per share. And even though SCHD is trading towards the higher end of the 52 week range, I still have been buying shares of this ETF like crazy. And for the investors out there that not only love dividends, but also love growth, the SCHG ETF has been the perfect ETF over multiple different timeframes for them. For example, over the last 12 or so years, SCHG is up around 172%, and that's not even including dividends. Now, due to the most recent volatility throughout the markets, with crazy things going on like dividend cuts from companies like Walgreens, and the market basically holding their breath waiting for rate cuts. For me personally, as a long-term buy and hold dividend growth investor, I think there's never been a more perfect time to buy a well-diversified, high-quality dividend growth ETF like this one. Now, SCHD's top 10 holdings have been shifting around a little bit as of recent. We have AbV stock as the largest position currently. Then we have Merck, Amgen, Broadcom, Texas Instrument, The Home Depot, Chevron, Cisco, Verizon, PepsiCo, and others. Now, one of the negative things as a long-term buy and hold dividend growth investor when it comes to SCHD as of recently is the fact that because it's been performing so well over the past few months now, the dividend yield, the starting dividend yield is shrinking smaller and smaller which is what I've been talking about a lot on my previous videos. I've been talking about the fact that, in my opinion at least, I thought that SCHD was a great buy and hold opportunity when it was trading in the 60s because a starting yield of around 4% or above is just something that you're not going to find all that often when it comes to a high quality ETF like this one. But now with the way things sit currently, SCHD has a trillion 12 month dividend yield of 3.5%, which again, isn't all that bad whatsoever. And just a side note, as of recent, I saw a commenter ask me why I personally am so interested in buying SCHD. Why not buy something like SPY? Which honestly is a really good question considering SPY has a chance to outperform SCHD long-term and it's even more diversified. But the main reason is, is because as a 31 year old dividend growth investor, that's hopefully looking to retire at least somewhat in the next five years, a starting yield of 1.42% when it comes to the SPY ETF is just not enough cash flow to live off of. So even though if you compare SCHD to SPY over the next 10 years, maybe SCHD won't have as much total return, it's still going to benefit me because I'm looking to live off the dividends that are paid to me on a quarterly basis, not the total return at all. Now, the next few quarters are going to be very interesting when it comes to SCHD because we are going to see the reconstitution happen very soon here, which means some stocks within the ETF's index are going to get shifted in and shifted out, which is going to be exciting. But on top of that, it's also going to be very important to see what size dividend SCHD pays in March? Because historically speaking, at least, the March dividend is always the smallest, more or less. And side note, the last dividend paid in March of last year was 60 cents per share. So if we see anything above 60 cents, that will constitute some dividend growth, which is going to be extremely, extremely bullish, in my opinion. Looking a little bit deeper into the previous dividends that SCHD has paid over the past year or so, if we look at now the December dividend in 2023, around 74 cents, 74.23 cents, let's say. The previous December dividend last year was 70.34 cents, meaning that this brand new dividend that was just announced is the absolute largest dividend that SCHD has ever paid in history. Now, like I touched on earlier, I think this is a very, very important aspect for the sentiment around this ETF, because over the last year, there were a lot of long-term investors that were previously very interested in buying into SHD that were a little bit unsure of the future dividend growth prospect. Because after all, dividend growth is one of the main, most important metrics that SCHD has to offer. 
if you look at the last 10 or so years that SHG has been trading, you can see that every single year the dividend growth rate has been up around 15%, 9%, 7%, even years upwards of 20% dividend growth. Now, if SHG is currently paying around $2.66 on a trillion 12 month basis, if we were to take $2.66 and times it by 9%, that means 23 cents more of dividend income could be expected year after year if SHG does continue to raise their dividend around 9% in dividend growth year over year. That means around 12 months from now, we could easily see this annual payout trillion 12 month amount go from 266 up to $2.89. And the year after that, if we were to extrapolate out and add another 9%, which again could be lower or higher, we could see $3.15 paid out by SHD sometime by the year 2025. Now, realistically speaking, how much in dividends is SHD going to be paying out by time we are at the year, let's say 2030 or even 2035? I think that at this rate, if we keep going at the same rate that we're going, SHG could not only be paying more than double the amount of dividends on a 10 year basis, but of course it's possible to even be paying more than that. Now, is SHG still a good buying opportunity in 2024 and beyond? I think SHG is going to have a great year. Considering a lot of these dividend growth payers which make up the ETF have really suffered over the last 12 months, but I do think that there is going to be some rotation into some of these higher yielding names, especially if the Fed does drop rates because a lot of investors out there are going to be on the search, on the lookout for some names with some safe yield. All that to say, though, it's going to be interesting to see how the reconstitution goes with SHD, which is coming up soon, and see which names are going to be leading the pack when it comes to this ETF. Now, my specific plan of buying or selling the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF in 2024 is still going to remain the same as it's been. I'm going to purchase a minimum of two shares every single trading day throughout this entire year, which will allow me to surpass the 1,000 share of SHD goal by 2025 if I stick with that. Now, on certain days where there's more cash balance in my portfolio, I might even grab an extra share or two. But for the most part, I'm going to continue to buy more shares of SHD and hold the shares that I have really tightly. Now, lastly, I want to share this article I came across on Seeking Alpha from the Sunday Investor. They said SHD has the best combination of quality, dividend yield, and dividend growth among 1,000 U.S. equity ETFs I analyze. But 2022 and 23 was disappointing, and SHD became a bottom quarter performer. They also said the primary reason was weak growth and that might not change anytime soon. But still, SCHD is a long-term hold because it's a high quality fund. It's market cap weighted schemes drives it as it does its quality and dividend based composite score. But when it comes to the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF and if or if it's not still a buying opportunity in 2024, I wanna hear from you guys down below. Are you personally still adding shares of SHD on a daily basis like I am? Or have you maybe moved on to a bigger, better ETF? Which in that case, drop the ticker symbol in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like down below and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.